Welcome back makers. My name is Jeanette Fryer. If you're new here, I am the owner and maker of Jabelle Chic. So for today's video, I thought that I would switch it up and show you guys my much needed craft desk makeover. So I'm going to post some pictures before this video starts of how my craft, my previous craft island, you've seen it in my videos before in the background of how my previous craft island look, but I have this new desk that's in place. I'm going to show you guys how I built it. All of the pieces that I got are from Ikea. I will definitely link all of the links to everything that I got to put this wonderful craft all in together. I thought it was very, uh, it was very well needed because I am a, I love to sit when I craft and my previous craft desk, it was more of a standing version and I could not sit at all. So with the holidays coming up and my workload, you know, increasing, you know, dramatically, I definitely needed a space where I can um, spread out and just, you know, spread all of my upcoming, you know, orders and just be, you know, organized. And y'all, so far I am loving it. It is just working out so, so, so perfect. So I think that is enough for me. So let's get into how I put this craft all in together and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so let's go. All right, makers, so let's get this craft desk put together. I have a whole lot of boxes that I have to go through. They were just delivered from Ikea, so now we are just gonna start the assembly process and hopefully everything goes smooth. So I have a mess, so be forewarned. All right, so let's go. So now I have the two Calyx units that I am going to try to assemble without my husband's help. So they are four cube Calyx units and I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. So they seem to be packaged really well for my Kia. So I am dreading putting this together, but it has to be done because I want to get a big island set up in here so I can work more efficiently. So I'm going to put you guys in the time lapse and just stay with me. So I have one of the Kellex cubes put together. Everything is looking good so far. So now I have to put this other one together. So I don't know why I'm so tired of putting that one together. Um, but yeah, it's looking good so far. So let's put number two together. Be 
makers. So now I have both collax units put together. So I did think that I did not want any to add the legs to to them as planned, but I kind of want a higher working space and I kind of want to be able to sit also. So I'm thinking if I get a higher work stool, everything will work out. But if I don't like how high the legs are, I can just take them off. So let's go ahead and put the legs on. So makers, I have the Eket legs four come in a pack and of course i'm going to put these on four sides of the um the collax unit and i'm just going to be using some regular screws to apply those so excuse this light in the background it is dark here so i'm going to use my robby to get a pilot hole started and then we are just going to screw these into the bottom of the collax units all right, so I have my legs here. I'm just gonna use my Sharpie just to get a pilot hole started. So I'm gonna do that for all four legs and then I'm gonna continue putting all the legs on. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights. Just keep on wasting. Glass after glass, I keep So now we have our legs all on there. Now we're going to get ready to flip this over and attach our top to it. So before attaching my top, I did put some strong double sided tape here. This is what I use for all my desks because I do tend to change my craft room around a lot. So I put just a strip on both ends. So now I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the desktop. I want to make sure it's straight, you know, like here and here. So I'm going to figure that out and then we're going to add the desktop. Art maker. So now we have our top on here. I did think that I wanted the desk to kind of extend evenly on both ends but I kind of like the lip so if I want to do something on another side I can so I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to do placement I'm sorry you guys can't see me I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to do placement and then I'm going to take the double sided tape off all right so I have it somewhat in place I still think I'm going to attach some type of screws there but the height, I am loving the height so far. So, you guys, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna come back and show you what it all put together. welcome back welcome back as you can see putting the craft desk together was a it was it was not hard it was just a challenge you know because my space is sort of small but I am making every inch count in this space so that's definitely all that matters but as you can see it is in place and I love it so I am not sure if I like the big opening here this may be an afterthought but I am planning on ordering another calyx unit to put in this space the same height with the same wheels as well so that it would kind of close up this opening and the most important part is going to give me a lot more storage so if i decide to do that i would definitely pop in on another tumblr video and show you guys an update as to how i updated 
this area right here because I'm just not loving how open it is. I think I can get more out of this open space if I add another collapse unit with some more shelves and some more doors and things like that. So I think we'll, you know, everything will come into place. So everything, like I said, everything is from Ikea, even the little cubbies, um, things that I had in the past. So I just definitely just, you know, just stuffed it, you know, to the mic as much as I could. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this desk is, I think it's 63 inches, and you know, 53 inches by 30 and y'all, Look at all that space. Look at all that space. I am definitely able to work and I have a chair back there on the little spindle that allows me to just to work comfortable and I can just craft and watch my TV at the same time. So you guys, it is just, it's just giving me all the craft, craft and vibes. I am so motivated when I come into this space to craft and I just could not be more happier with it. All right, makers, once again, I did not forget about the quote for today's video. And it's just like a really simple, you know, quote so that you guys can, you know, gain some inspiration from this quote as well. So the quote for today's video is, ditch your comfort zone. I'm sorry, I dropped it. I'm trying to get it to focus. Ditch your comfort zone, you guys. Ditch your comfort zone. Oh my goodness. So that, that resonates with me a lot because a lot of times in the crafting world, I'm always like so used to just you know, I don't want to rock the boat or do something new. I mean, that goes along with this crafting desk. I had paid, you know, a good bit of money for the previous desk that I had, and it just wasn't working. And, I, you know, I thought, okay, I can just live with it or whatever. But however, I'm just like, hey, Jeanette, if you really want a new desk, just, just get it. Because it's going to make your proficiency level in your work. It's going to make it all, you know, all the all the better so that definitely worked out for me so going back to this quote as well ditching your comfort zone i urge each and every one of you to try new things that you know no matter what it be in your crafting world or in your life as well hey get out of your comfort zone and try those new things because you never know if you like them or you get at them if you never try them so i really hope that this quote resonates with each and every one of you so once again makers if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and if you have not clicked that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future content, that would definitely help me out as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this crafting desk. It's really just going to give me all the efficiency that I need in my workspace. And y'all, I've been working working with it for a couple days and I am in love with it. It is just... It's just, it's just so wonderful. When my husband comes in here, he'd be like, oh, you really just loving to do that? So I'm like, yeah, I really, really, really love it. So like I said, with the upcoming Christmas season, you know, here, it's here. And my order is increasing as well. So I definitely need a space where I can spread out. And that is working for me. So once again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you decide to recreate your craft island as well, everything that I use to create this craft island will be placed in the description box below. So once again, makers, I want to say this again, please subscribe to my channel and please look forward to more upcoming videos. If you like this type of content, that would be greatly appreciated as well. So I think that is enough for me. Until the next video, you all stay blessed and most of all, keep creating. So makers, after filming my outro, my second part that I wanted to add, which is this middle part here, came in. It is the same as the two side pieces here. It's the Collax four shelf unit four cube units so I just added that here I also ordered two a set of drawers they come in a set of two as you see here so I put that together so you guys I think it is complete and I am so happy with it of course with this unit I can add more to it I can add more doors you know a lot of more drawers here as well using the same Kelex unit inserts so I hope this video was helpful and see you guys in the next one Let me, baby, I've been